something fishy has been going on in the Penticton Channel. It's sockeye spawning season and these scientists have been collecting carcasses to do biotesting and help predict future salmon runs. Well, this year we've had a fantastic return of fish. Um, the fish coming back are the first year releases from this facility. So they're homing in on this area, which is what uh, this hatchery is built to do. There are roughly 30,000 salmon spawning in the Penticton Channel right now. A huge spike from last year's 2,000. And since spawning is the end of a salmon's life cycle, that means a lot of dead fish. We have a crew that goes out and we collect all the carcasses um, and bring them back, sort them by size. Crews check the fish for different electronic tags, placed on the fish earlier in their lives before they head south. It helps measure how many salmon are returning. We got 49. Some of the fish are biosampled. The otolith, an ear bone, gives researchers a wealth of information. If they've gone into ocean, how old they are, and if they're hatchery or wild. Once the data is collected, the fish go back where they came from. We chop them in half, um, also to determine what sex they are. Throw them back in. That's absolutely perfect for the channel. It's an enrichment program, and that feeds the algae, which feeds the zooplankton, which then feeds the little fry which then the little fry then feed the larger fish and it's, you know, that Disney circle of life thing. Birds love it. <laughs> Dogs like it, yeah. Spawning is roughly at its peak right now and collections will continue until it ends. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Chelsea Powery.